and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tale of Blood and Honor. That's going to be our next deck. Um, the pretty cool deck name. Didn't really know what to, to name this thing. So we have three Fiora, we got two Garen, we got Katarina. We're basically just playing Demacia good, good cards, right? Demacia challengers and curve out. Um, but then with, with the War Chef's nerf, instead of going Bannerman, we're going to play a little bit more Noxus, and we, we kind of need some more two-mana cards. A lot of people have been playing Lucian in the two-mana slot instead of War Chef's. Um, we're going to be going with Legion Drummer and Trifarian Glory Seeker. And, of course, Legion Drummer giving quick attack to different challengers and Glory Seeker being a challenger. So we're going with that. So, um, you know, we didn't really want to just call this Fiora Garen because we got Katarina in here. Um, and uh, this is what... Twitch chat uh, came up with this name, um, Blood and Honor, and turned it into a Tale of Blood and Honor. So pretty cool uh, deck name. We're going to be striking a bunch. We got Whirling Deaths to strike. We have a couple of single combats, but then more concerted strikes, because um, of course striking is going to be important with both Garen and Katarina. Help those things out. A couple of Radiant Guardian against the removal heavy decks, make that, uh, make that more difficult. And then of course Katarina, get us more attacks. Garen's going to get us some extra attacks. Katarina will hopefully get us some extra attacks. Uh, that's definitely going to be good attacking over and over, especially with support things um, like Legion Drummer. All right, so that's that's going to be our deck. Let's give it a try. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked and hopefully uh, follow up the Centaurus deck that we just played. That did great. Um, <laughs> Gigi says, my body is so ready. So ready. Okay, let's get started then. What are we playing against? Okay, mirror-ish type match with Shen. So they'll have some more barriers. Love Culling Strike. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep... Okay, so definitely keeping the first three. Do we want another Fleet Feather Tracker? Yeah, sure, we'll just take another Fleet Feather Tracker. Nice one mana card. I am worried about... Okay. So make that trade because I'm worried about Bright Seal Protector on their end. I just have a one mana card. Okay. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. So my problem with going Fiora is Repost. By my honor, you must die. I could go tracker bright steel protector. But yeah, Repose is our problem there. I'm just going to pass, keep calling Strike up, have them waste some mana. They went to pass again? Thank you. Concerted Strike would be my best draw, probably. Katarina's a pretty good one. Problem is they kill Katarina, but I love I would I would love the Blade's Edge to take down a barrier. 
but then they kill my Katarina. Hey, Giant Monster Games. Our games are going very good today. I'm doing real well. Gonna pass. No going back. Yeah, this Blade's Edge is very important against a barrier. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Hmm. Hello, blood for Noxus. I just attack here first. And then get to replay it and have another attack, have them have three or have them have three less life. So if that's their plan, or you know, like, cause then then I can have challenge, 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 and I can you know do lethal damage. So if their plan is just barriers, that won't work. But then again, this isn't very good against fight spells. Yeah, this plan's not very good against fight spells. Unfortunately. See ya. But it's that. Least. So we got Shen out of here. Alright, so maybe that was a bad plan. We need our own fight spell. Like, Concerted Strike is so important. Uh, just drawing more and more units. Oh, we have a lot of spells, don't we? Yeah, we have 12 spells, so we drew one with the one culling strike that I kept in my opening hand. Didn't draw a single one. It's unfortunate. Justice will be served! Yeah, it must be nice to have spells. Must be nice. Yes, that's good. All right, let's Finally. Folks up. So how many cards in a row was that that we saw that was a unit? What I kept I kept my entire opening hand. So um, that life steal barrier. Yeah, so we saw nine cards with no no spells. Oh, man. Unfortunately, they have all the concerted strikes and single combats. And the important spells. Just a couple of larger units than mine, and then all spells is a good way to win. I've got your back. Screeching Dragons have looked awesome, right? They've both gotten plus four, plus four. 
They should be long dead. They have looked amazing. Um, it's tough to say whether, you know, like this card or the, you know, I've heard arguments for both sides, whether Screeching Dragon or the 5-4 Challenger that creates another thing, like which card is better. Uh, this game, the Screeching Dragon, has completely outperformed the other card. Uh, Swiftwing Lancer. Like Swiftwing Lancer wouldn't be nearly as good. Yeah, this this game looks pretty over. I think the big difference in this game is they had two concerted strikes in a single combat, and those cards are so valuable. I have zero concerted strikes. The cards are just too valuable. Yeah, you know, if you think about like against if I have maybe if I would have had one of my Genevieves or Garen, that those could have like Genevieve could kill a dragon. That's a 4-5, where it wouldn't kill a Swiftwing Lancer. 5-4. Glory Seeker could be the card that I should be taking out. I like how I get to play Glory Seeker on turn 2. This is definitely... Yeah, you know, like, this is a burn deck. So we want Radiant Guardian. The thing is, is I... Um... Anything helps. <laughs> okay, the Dragon helps in the worst matchups. I don't necessarily think that that was a bad matchup that we just played against. I I would be very... I'd be pretty confident in playing against that over and over again if we could, but that's not how, you know, you don't just get to. That's not, that's not how it goes. It's just they won that game. Hey, Vendetta. Thanks for that resub. Five awesome months. Thank you so much, Vendetta. I appreciate that. So gl the, the purpose of Glory Seeker in my hand is to kill champions. That's the purpose of Glory Seeker. I don't really want it to kill a 2-1. I'd rather save the spell mana, especially with the transfusion. I'm just gonna save the spell mana. The party has arrived. My shield is yours. I'm going Glory Seeker 2. I didn't really want to go Glory Seeker first and let them know about Glory Seeker. Strike quickly, strike deadly. first. Oh god. Rules are made to be broken. No. Definitely considering passing because of that, because I'm just playing Jinx, but it wouldn't really be wasting much mana. So we're going Radiant Guardian. Alright, random dude. Have a good one. GG's. Needed to challenge with Glory Seeker. I was too careful with that card. They had to they like kinda had to kill me this turn, didn't they? It's too bad. Learn, change, re-engage. Alright, well I Both of those games, I wish I had back. <laughs> I wish I had both of those games back of being able to replay them and, and uh, decisions I, I was making did not work out. I think both of those were pretty decent matchups for us, and I lost them both. It's not how the game goes, though. You don't get the you don't get the games back. I need a challenger. Katarina can just be a a mana sink for me. Do I want to just start with a mana sink? I mean, this is the kind of matchup that we could definitely use that mana sink. Um, I kind of like all these cards, but I just need challengers. I guess I'll get rid of Bright Steel Protector, which kind of does the same thing as Legion Drummer. There we go. There's a challenger, and there's a challenger also. Now I'd, I'd like to have the Bright Steel Protector.
Alright, yeah. See you around, dude. Okay. Let's see. What do we got? One star's whipsy is another spark. What? We're discarding Catalyst of Aeons? What are we doing? What are we doing discarding Catalyst of Aeons? I went with the risky play of passing. by them. I wish I would have gone Fiora now. Um. Too bad. Because basically, so I passed, I wanted them to play the Weirding Stones, and then I would play my 5-1 and challenge it. more mana with her post. My heart and soul for Alright, let's try to level up Garen quickly. That was a good avalanche. The good news is we did get rid of two ramp spells, right? Weirding Stones, Catalyst of Aeons are both gone. We do know that they have one Celestial card that costs three or less. The trolls are going to war! Stay resolute. This is difficult. It's just it's difficult to figure out what to do. It, it sure is. Um, with all these different all these different options. Play this Legion drummer. See what happens. Okay. That card is silenced. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Hey Jay Tizzle, good afternoon. Ooh, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Jenny, that. Here we go. I just feel like they're gonna have frostbite cards, and so I don't want to use um, repost quite yet. We're going to trade it for Troll Chant. Hopefully no harsh winds. Just let this happen. Awesome. That's a level up Garen. That is probably game. We got that to happen. Yeah, I'm gonna be surprised. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna, I, was gonna, I was gonna say I would be really surprised if they could win it from there. Justice triumphs. All right, that worked out. So I, I like our deck. I, I think that our deck. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's the same opponent. It's the same deck though. But yeah, I like our deck. I, I uh, feel bad for losing the two that we did. Those weren't my best games. I just want to keep Garen. Garen is very, very strong. Want to find some challengers. There we go. Um, I like this Whirling Death, too. So the drummer does die to Avalanche, but I think it's still important to have a turn two card to pressure them, especially with having the attack token on a turn two. So I wanted to keep the Legion drummer. 
I don't want to just mulligan it just because it dies to Avalanche. Uh, I'm glad that the other, the three drops that we've drawn, I'm glad they don't die to Avalanche. Which I guess three drops just don't die to Avalanche, but I'm, you know, basically I'm glad we didn't just draw all Flea Feather Tracker and Triperion Glory Seeker. Starting Dragon's Clutch. I long for a worthy opponent. So I need to cast Whirling Death in order to kill this Weirding Stones. We'll leave with the Fleet Feather Tracker and see what they do. So if they want to Avalanche, then I can get a free kill on the Weirding Stones. Dang, another Weirding Stones. And they can still have Avalanche. Yuck. Show them the might of Noxus. If only Fiora see me now. Alright, I'm not gonna whirling She's death. Not impressed. So let's play this if they do. Avalanche, then, like, they can't really Avalanche because then we kill both Weirding Stones. We're gonna have Fiora get a kill on the 1 1 and still challenge the two Weirding Stones and put them down to O2s. Wow. They can do that, though. To victory. Wow. Um, yeah, that hurts. I guess I'll just get rid of this thing. Good card. Yes, I could have killed one with the Whirling Death, but I didn't really want to. Whirling Death is is pretty valuable. I mean, it's a good way to take down like Trundle. I think I'd be worried, so I could Whirling Death right here and then level up my Garen, but then I'm worried about uh, just a Frostbite spell. They just, if I try that and then they just Frostbite it. Hopefully no Frostbite. Alright, good. Because, yeah, leveled up Garen, really nice to have, for sure. How do you wield such a clumsy weapon? With justice and honor. Let's go attack. Let me attack. Don't play Ice Quake. Let me attack. A chill in the air. Ugh. That was a good card to have. Uh, All right, let's miss some folks. Let's play this Grizzled Ranger. Thought me smell something. Time to get rowdy. So no eight plus cost card. My life for Avarosa. Okay. So let's see. 2 1 can kill O2. 2 4. You call this a fight? Let's go quick attack 2 4, this thing. 3 3, kill this thing. And then it's gonna be my turn again. Or like, it's gonna be my attack token turn next, because this is their attack token turn. Yeah. GG's. I like our deck, I think it's strong. I feel bad for losing those first two. 
Uh, that was one game, and then the other game was kind of a mirror match with, um, like, Fiora Shen. And they had concerted strikes and single combats, and my first, you know, nine cards or whatever, I had no spells, and so I, all, I, all I could play is just more units, and they just had dragons and spells, and so I couldn't do anything. I didn't have, a, like, the one concerted strike I needed to finish the game. All right. Not Maokai Nautilus. So this mulligan, the the two, the the uh, bright steel protector. It's not a bad card or anything, but just decided to mulligan that with my plan of being. Uh, Drummer and Fiora. They could have the 4 4 C monster, that would be the worst case scenario for me. Um, you know, so they'll, they'll probably play Dread Bloom Wander. So, like, I could keep them from playing Dread Bloom Wander, but it's not like I'm having them waste any Remember spell mana. So, like, that's probably their plan, or Jaw Hunters. Like, their, their plan is either Jaw Hunters or Dead Bloom Wanderer. By passing, I would keep them from playing Maokai this turn, right? Like, because then they'd have to spend their mana on, like, the Jaw Hunters this turn. But they'd still have the spell mana. <clears throat> Either way. Okay, so I could Transfusion and keep Fiora alive, or just go Repost. Or we could Single Combat. Both Repost and Transfusion lose to Vile Feast. Concerted Strike doesn't, but Concerted Strike is super valuable for later. I'll go Transfusion. And so if they have Vile Feast, they have Vile Feast, and then, you know, we just traded three mana cards and two mana cards for each other. Second kill for Fiora. <laughs> Two down. A concerted strike could be a third kill. Or a post, potentially a fourth kill. The rot must be cut away. Definitely want to get rid of this Maokai and not let them just get saplings and all that kind of stuff. Maokai is important to get rid of. Alright, let's draw a single combat. Concerted strike. Draw another one of those. Darn. The problem, of course, the problem here is I, I did open myself up to Devour Adepts. Ooh, that's not Devour Adepts. Set the hooks. Well, we're gonna go for the win. GG's. There we go. Three and two. They will no match. No devourer. So a three and two with a tale of blood and honor. And I like this deck. I think that I think the deck's really good, and I think that I would be pretty confident in playing this deck over and over again. Uh, and ranking up with this, this is, um, you know, for those of y'all that have been watching the stream for a while, you know that I really like Demacia decks, I really like Garen decks. Uh, I think that they're always pretty strong, and, and I like this with the uh, Noxus Splash. I think the one Katarina is pretty cool, and um, both Culling Strike and Whirling Death definitely looked good. Um, we got to see that Transfusion 
do some stuff there that last game. And I really like Legion Drummer and Trifarian Glory Seeker. And I think that kind of fills the slots in for War Chefs kind of the best. The Legion Drummer is there. And then Glory Seeker gives you another challenger that can take out some big things. Um, the the burn decks that go underneath you can be a little bit troublesome. You know, I had that Radiant Guardian. I didn't play it. Um, yeah, I wish I had those first two games over. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much, Yud. Thanks for that resub. Um, <laughs> almost two years. You are amazing. Thank you so much. That we got it. We hit our bonus stream sub goal today. That's amazing. First time we hit that in a while. So that five subs today. So that means we are going to be playing some extra bonus games after uh, by Diana up next. All right, but anyway, that's it here for A Tale of Blood and Honor. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments, give this deck a try, let me know how it goes. I'd appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next video.